Ladies and gentlemen, finally, 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 welcome back to a brand new video of One Piece Bounty Rush. Now, I've been looking forward to this quite a bit this entire week. Uh, it's been a very busy one for me, playing a bunch of different, like, stuff as I was on transit, kind of bustling around, because it's been a very long week of job training and strange stuff. But we're here today to go ahead and cover a little bit more on the game, so welcome back and let's go ahead and get into it. So, the newest update to the game uh, features a brand new challenge battle that's only available for two more days, of which I want to grind up to at least 50k, which unfortunately I am nowhere near because I haven't been able to play it at all yet, yet, because I've just been too busy and on transit. But you actually got a new character released alongside it in Basil Hawkins, of which, oh, sorry, please, don't drink my coffee. My, my cat was trying to steal my coffee. I'm sorry, but it's my caramel wonderful. You can't have that. I think that'll kill a cat, please. Um, but we got Basil Hawkins dropped, of which is... So, he's not personally my favorite character from the entire Wano arc so far. Um, I'm very interested to see what they end up ad adapting from the arc going forward, because I want to get like X-Drake and stuff like that. That'll be super cool if we end up getting him at some point. Um, this is the first step going into the Wano arc. We also have the law that dropped. Uh, and we'll talk about him a little bit later as well. He's, he's okay. He's he's okay at best. Uh, but Basil Hawkins, he's a blue defender, of which is a three star that goes up to six star. Um, he has the straw man card, which is a mid-range attack that causes a knockback effect to nullify stagger for a certain amount of time. Basically, summon your stand and do a big slash in front of you. And his second is actually one of my personal favorite, most interesting abilities in the game so far. The Shadow of Death is on your face today. So this is basically a skill based on complete and utter goddamn chaos. Um, at level 5, you have one of these abilities that activates after you use it, and it could be any of them. So the first one is attack 30%, for, for a 30% chance for 24 seconds. Defense 30%, uh, probability 30% for 24 seconds. Speed increased by 30%, probability 30%, and uh, 24 seconds. And then attack increased by 100%, 10% chance, and 12 second cooldown, or 12 second effects, and 35 second cooldown. So basically, you pop off your second, and you have a chance of getting, um, it's like a 1 in 3 chance of getting attack, defense, and speed, with an extra 10% of getting double your attack as well. So it's very, very interesting, and I feel like... This allows him to play basically any role during a game, depending on what you end up rolling on this card. Granted, it's it's kind of hard to plan around it, is the main issue, because it is a random effect to your allies as well. But, like, extra attack lets him use his first and strong attack to one shot. Um, his extra defense lets him be a better defender around your own flags. Extra speed lets him try to run around and be a bit of a runner and go around your point while actually being a defender as well. A uh, double attack for your entire ally team is crazy. His actual effect times being 24 seconds is quite a bit of the battle. So he seems to be a really, really good free character. I believe he is free. I don't actually know how you get him. I think he's in the challenge battle, actually. Um, but he seems great. Uh, and you also have the traits. Win an area around your captured treasure. Reduce damage received by 30%. Fantastic stuff. That, alongside 30% defense increase as well, is going to be great. Um, and trait 2, when you're using skill 2, reduce the cooldown time of skill 1 by 15%, and receiving damage, 1% chance to dodge without taking damage or accompanying effects. So basically, a very small 1% chance of chaos never taking damage. Uh, so that's great. I find it to be super, super interesting, and naturally, you'll be using your skill 2 quite often, so it is a 35 second cooldown, but whenever you use it, you also get the cooldown of your skill 1 which has a 44 second cooldown, so it's helpful. He seems like a really solid character, honestly. For a 3 star, he's so much better than Bellamy was. He's so much more interesting, so I'm happy with that. Um, and on top of that, we also got the... here, where is he? The Wano Law, of which I see right here. Um, he's not really a character I would personally play as. He's a red defender. His first strong attack is a mid-ranged effect that applies defense and speed debuffs to the enemies, and it's just basically, he lays down a room for several seconds, and it'll proc every couple of seconds for a two-second reduction of defense and speed. Um, it's not really that bad to try and get around, and honestly, it's not really that threatening. 
Uh, and his second is Gamma Knife, of which he dashes towards an enemy and does one big stab with a chance to stun, which basically guaranteed at level 5. Um, but the lower this character's remaining HP becomes, the damage dealt is increased. Meaning, he's a, he's a defender that's meant to take a bunch of damage, then get the room up and decrease their defenses, and then one shot with Gamma Knife. Um, his normals are also fairly slow from what I've experienced. He's not really that bad to deal with from what I've fought so far. Um, his traits as well are very like run like defender-esque basic stuff. Reduce damage received by 30% when around your own treasure. When your strength is less than 30%, boost attack by 30%, which is quite cool. Meaning he is basically when low on health, one shot the enemies. Uh, and trait two is the more important one for him. When you KO an opponent, recover HP by 15%. So basically, whenever you try and secure those kills when you're low on HP, you also gain your HP back when you get the kill and keep your attack increase that you have from before. So that's still for 20 seconds no matter what. It's super, super cool. And I think that this makes him... If you can manage to let him survive to the end of the match, and when he still have, has like very little HP left, he has a lot of comeback potential. But that's like his main focus. Also, when using skill 1, boost defense by 20% for 10 seconds and cannot stack. So, he's very like passive buffs alongside trying to control areas. Personally, he hasn't been that threatening for me, but he could be potentially great for someone that enjoys playing as a defender like this. But... He's been quite cool, and that was one of the re recent releases. He came out right after the video I released last time, so I want to talk about them a little bit before I pop the next thing. Um, but on top of that, we also got this right here, of which is the 5-step TGS 2019 Exhibit Celebration Scout. Um, this is basically a step-up bounty festival banner, of which features... Ace, Sabo, Kizaru, Moria, Hancock, and Kainu of which has the fillers of every single other character inside the game as well. Um, honestly, this banner being a step up that has these characters as well as has guaranteed steps uh, and discounted steps. Uh, first one's discounted at 30, second one's discounted at 40 in guaranteed character. Free metal, free metal, uh, free multi, and then free metal. Super, super great. This banner honestly is one of the better ones that's come out so far. Um, and in terms of bounty festivals, all the ones inside the actual feature are kind of relevant. Uh, Ace less so, unless you have him at, le like, level 100, but Sabo's great, Kizaru's great, Moria's great. Fuck Moria. I hate him, but he's great. Uh, Hancock, he got a buff recently, which is quite nice, and Akainu also is in here. Would have preferred Aokiji over Akainu, personally, because he got a buff as well, but it's quite good. I'm gonna do the second multi on this, um, because it actually is worth it to get the guaranteed 4-star character. My first multi featured, uh, Moria and the Robin, so... It's been a pretty kind banner so far. But I wanted to do at least one multi here on the recording before we go and pop in the challenge battle. Because you never know. Uh, best case scenario would be getting a copy of Kizaru right now, but I also need a pretty good uh, blue uh, defender, so I'd love to get Sabo as well. It's a guaranteed 4-star, so we'll at least get something inside here. <gasps> Sabo! That's before the end guaranteed as well. So that's actually just a random copy throughout the entire pull. Thank you so much, Sabo. Hey there, buddy. I appreciate the hell out of that. I now have a good blue rut or defender I want to use over Crocodile. Hell yeah. Can I get a second copy of him to get him to 70? That'd be great. I would love that. Oh, I'm, I'm so happy. That's great. I, I needed that so hard. So I appreciate that. Thank you. Defender? Frankie. I mean, I guess I'll take it. My other account is like my main Frankie account, but you know what? Two defenders, you can't argue with it. You really can't. That's a non-guaranteed Bounty Festival character as well, so hell yeah. Sabo honestly is super fun to play, so I will absolutely take that. And hell yeah for the second step. I might try and come back to do another step, honestly. Get the free multi after as well. Hmm... We'll see for right now. For the moment though, before we do any of that, I wanted to go into the challenge battle and do a couple of games today. Um, so here we have the Paramecia 3-star lower challenge. Basically, uh, all the characters that are 3-star lower that have Paramecia fruits, Alvida, Buggy, Boney, uh, and the new Hawkins are all featured inside here. Um, I wonder if we get a full list of every single character that's available inside this. Okay, yeah, so... 
We have Robin and uh, Luffy as the attackers, Hawkins and Bellamy as the defenders, uh, Brooke, Alveda, Buggy, and Boney or Bonnie as the runners. So very small uh, guided line for that, but I'd love to try and get a copy or a, a, an attempt at playing as Hawkins here. We'll see how it ends up going. I haven't tried this out at all so far, so I need to try and grind as much as possible this weekend. I'm excited though, it's gonna be good. Alrighty, here we go. I am playing as Nico Robin, actually. The enemy team got the Hawkins, but he's only level 70, so I'll take that. Honestly, it seemed to have balanced this around the idea that, like, certain characters can't be at 80 to be able to balance it properly. It's quite cool, because it's literally them admitting these characters are better than these other ones at 2-star or 3-star or whatever. All right, boyos. We're playing with Nyan Nyan again. I actually get... I think that's... I don't think it's an NPC, but I get him on my team a lot. Weird. I think the last video we did as well, we got him on our team. I wonder if he just plays a lot. Or if it's just a, a bot. Honestly, I... From what I remember when the first... When the game first came out, the bots were all uh, signified by... It was like... Any... En enemies that you had that had like Romanji esque names, so, like Yuto, or uh, there there was like just a bunch of stuff like that. Very like small uh, names that are like two syllables and two Japanese syllables at that. Bop it! Damn it! Not too great. Um, what do I do here? Because it seems to be a pretty big threat. I'm gonna try to do. But the issue is her second is awful. Oh god, there's a stand. I'm gonna take care of you, Hawkins! I'm getting out of here. See ya! Buggy, you go do that. I'm gonna stand here. I'm gonna stand proud. Oh god, his Nan actually hits from pretty far away. So he's gonna roll. Oh, he, he delayed it like by a second there. Damn it! The roll went off, and I thought that I was going to be able to swing there, but it popped off when it happened. I tapped it as he did it. My bad. We'll try this again. Uh, Bonnie, do you... Do you... Do you I'm going to take this, actually. Because you want that. Oh, yeah. No, that's a bad for you. Um, We're definitely missing some pretty big things here, though. Damn it. So she's currently boosted. That's going to be a problem here. We need this flag right now. We have a full team fight going on. I'm whipping it! Whip it! Two kills! I actually love this Nika Robin. The upgrade event happened a few uh, months ago for her, and she's great. She's really fun to play. She's kind of goofy, and honestly, her second is kind of useless unless you're able to get like really close up like I did right there. If I was playing as any or playing against any other character, that would have been like a straight up kill. Uh, because they would have just hit me with their stupid AoEs that hit everyone and their mothers in the stage. The trainers are going to go into mid after this, so we're going to be safe to grab this, honestly. Team, hold that down until this tornado comes in, because we're mostly safe. Um, however, we do have someone coming toward our main point here. I need to hit Alvita here. Tornado should be going uh, down south, so I'm going to dodge. Yeah! There you go, Alvita. Good shit. Um, uh, I feel like I should. I'm gonna pop this. Okay, I'm gonna grab it, I guess. The thing is, I I'm just, I feel like I'm always wanting to engage, but I'm never hitting the area uh, close enough, you know? I'm always that little bit too far away. I'm gonna hold this. I'm gonna hold this with my fucking life. This is mine. This is my point. We won! Yeah, GG! Holy shit, last second. Good on ya, thank you, Nya. Also, that buggy did a great job, so I wish I could give more than one great during a match. Hell yeah. Super happy with that. Um, I definitely want to try to get the full grind done this entire weekend. So, I, I have plenty of time. I'll probably try and get it done, because there's, there's, there's a lot of get- there's a lot of stuff. For now, though, we'll grab that. We will grab these. I don't think there's any events for actually doing the challenge battles. 
I didn't notice us getting shards of Hawkins for that though. Is he going to be in one of these banners or is he like an exchange character? I don't personally see him um, available so far. It's quite curious. Also started like the day before Stampede Luffy left, so I'm kind of sad about that. So I wonder if they're going to make him available later on inside different version of this, because I haven't gotten any shards of him through playing or anything. Hmm. We'll pop into this anyway. All right, so we're trying this out once again. Who do we got? I'm playing as Buggy. All right, let's try this out. So I noticed something in the last match after looking back at the footage later on. Um, the power doesn't seem to be very balanced between these actual teams. Uh, the last match I had, I was at 50k power, and the one that was that was, we were facing uh, was at 100k. And that was a match I didn't actually show, by the way. I just want to mention that. So I had 50k power this time. What does the enemy team have? 61k, so that's a little bit more balanced. It's kind of weird. Uh, last time we had, like, 100k power that we were fighting, it didn't seem to be very great. I don't know if it's because we had... So even on this match here, we have Hawkins and Alveda. So it couldn't have been the fact that we had them. Wonder what changes the power counts. It's quite curious. We're playing as a runner here. Uh, we are the buggy. So I've actually tried him out at all. Even during his upgrade event, I didn't actually want to use him. So uh, kind of just left that to the wayside. Poke it! So you have two green runners, meaning that I am in a better position. Yeah! This is called being styled on. What is happening right now? This is a clusterfuck and no one's grabbing the flags. I'm gonna... No, goddammit. I'm going! I need to get out! I'm, a, I'm dead. Yeah, that's, that's how that goes. I definitely was a Paramecia 3-star in the middle of the area. Good job, Nico Robin, though. Fucking Bonnie. Look at her. He's running around having a good time. I'm gonna go grab this flag that you just kind of grabbed and left. Honestly, you probably should have gone, went and grabbed B, honestly. Like, we kind of need that one, so it would have been pretty bad to lose it. I mean, I get that you wanted to go fight for C and everything, but... Look at me fucking backseating the enemies. What am I doing? We're gonna fight. We're gonna do this. Fuck y'all. Eat it. Eat it. Cheese buggy! Cheese buggy! We did a thing! I can't believe this is how we're winning. We did it! <laughs> Good game. That was, that, was a, that was a hell of a time. I'm happy with that. Good job, Alvita. We're gonna go ahead and do another match here. I really want to play as Hawkins, so I might just jump until I get a game that features him. So I want to try out his actual kit. I feel like I want to do a showcase of that. I don't even know if he comes out soon, but I'm very curious. Let's see how it goes. Oh, god damn it. Come on, Hawkins! Fuck me! God damn it. Here we go! I'm playing as Bonnie! Okay. Um, what I'm gonna do... This is gonna be the final match that I do for today. Uh, I've been playing matches for roughly about half an hour now. Um, haven't gotten Hawkins once. What I have realized is the power difference seems to be based on the level 80s. If all level 80s are on the enemy team, that's the main problem. So you have 69,000 inside this match here, for example. Enemy team has 78,000, which is super, super weird. Um, and I've also noticed that people, or the team that tends to win is the team that has the Red Luffy. Red Luffy just kind of controls and defeats at least two enemies on each team, which sucks. But you know what? We'll, we'll deal with it. And here we have to deal with the Red Luffy on the enemy team. Um, this challenge battle is rough though. Uh, the matches I've played so far, I can't say I'm having especially a high amount of fun, but you know what? I feel like if they have challenge battles that have other similar like, themes to it like this, I'm kind of down for it. There's some pretty interesting stuff they could do with this, honestly. What is happening? What What is with this connection? This Bellamy is lagging all over the place. Okay, I'm heading over here, I guess. Bye. This is my E now. 
I've encountered it more and more where, en where like, enemies I fight have poorer and poorer connections as time continues to, to pass in this world. Uh, the Elvita's going back and taking their E, but it's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with that. The issue is there's also three... Or, uh, there's, like, four runners on rotation. So these matches are definitely uh, very stressful for people that aren't playing the runners. Like, dealing with a Nico Robin, um, or, uh, dealing with, uh, words are escaping me. Dealing with Brooke as, uh, Nico Robin is a really big problem. A very, like, large issue in my mind, and it kind of hurts me. Protect that, please, Buggy. I, I need you to do that. I'm gonna heal up and eat some foodies. Buggy, I'm gonna come help you kick it. Old school. Yeah, no. You ain't doing that. You know you ain't doing that. GG. But yeah, I've been trying to run matches all day. And honestly, it, it's just become a really big problem. Because you really can't guarantee you get a certain character. I've been going for like half an hour and I've played quite a few matches now. I'm up to 18,000 points already. Um, I might just do one more, just to get one more thing done. Maybe we'll get lucky and get on the last one I do. That was a pretty fast match. Oh my god, Pornhub. There you are. What a hero. Alright, and our final match of the day has us playing as... Alvida. I haven't done a show... Actually, we haven't tried her out yet, so I'm kind of down for it. It's like the one character I haven't played as, so... I'm in. I'm sold. Let's do it. And we'll wrap up for today. You know, Al Alvita is a very, very interesting character. She's a character born from the, the tubbiness and eventually indoctrinated into the existence of being a slippery, skinny woman. I don't know how I feel about it, but she does her best. You know, she gets a nice top hat inside New World. What a champion. Honestly, I feel like every single person that moved to New World post time skip, everyone just got hats. Everyone just got like newer, fancier hats all the time. Alvita got a top hat. Buggy got an even fancier pirate hat. Um, there's just a, there's a lot of there's a lot of hats going on, and I respect it. You know, Aokiji went from a sleep mask to a bandana. What a champion! We do it. Oh, that didn't actually go through. Damn. Now, I am a runner, so I should probably go and do my job as being the, the asshole of the group. Hey there, Bellamy. How you doing today? I'm going to have a good time with this. Also, Buggy. Hey there. I just did like a Dante-style home run attack right there. Oh, he's going away. See ya, Buggy. Have a nice day. I appreciate you not bothering me despite the fact that I hit you in the face with a hammer. I, I always appreciate that, you know? It's, it's always nice when the enemies just ignore you entirely. No, it's rude as hell. I spin to win! I missed the last attack. That's the one that does the most damage, so I'm kind of sad. Uh, whoop. Damn it. I'm team boosted, so this is going to do quite a bit of damage, this Nico Robin. Home run! Hell yeah! That's so fun! That's so fun! I like that a lot! Alright, so we're good here. We're only missing the back point. I'm spinning now! So if they're both gonna go over to C, I don't mind trying to kind of wrap that up for you guys. Because you guys only have five seconds, you are aware of that, right? Yeah, no. That's a GG as well. Runners are so annoying inside this, I'm telling you. If you're playing as anyone aside from the runners, it it sucks. I really want to try Hawkins, though. I'm so sad. What I'll try and do is tonight, um, I'll try and get a showcase and do some gameplay of him. I'm probably going to be playing Challenge Battle a lot inside stream and stuff, so I'll try and pull up uh, whatever games I get as Hawkins for that. But it's been a good time. I also ranked up here, which is quite nice. Likely what I'm going to try and do um, today... I'll grind up the entirety of that, 
And then tomorrow I want to do uh, our next pull on this banner with this after getting some solo grinded. And then we'll go and do the showcase of Hawkins as well. So it should be a fun time. For today, thank you for watching this episode of One Piece Bounty Rush. Still love this game. It's one of the top games out there right now, and I genuinely love it. And thank you for watching today. Take it easy, everybody.